logarithm functions are of uh, two types uh, one uh, uh, intrinsic functions and the other one is the user defined functions so intrinsic uh, functions are built in functions that you can directly call in your flowchart and user defined functions you need to define uh, them in your flowchart you need to define the program logic and invoke them in your flowcharts Uh, in this uh, video, let's uh, invoke a built-in function and see uh, how we can call uh, in your flowchart. So, let's uh, declare a variable called x of uh, type real. Uh, prompt the user to enter the uh, number. So take uh, the input x now we'll just in, uh, invoke a intrinsic or built-in uh, algorithm function called uh, abs uh, which returns the absolute value so so we'll define a uh, result x so in the assign symbol we'll specify the result and we'll invoke the function with the parameter x so this will call the uh, built-in function uh, abs and pass the value of x to the function computes the value and returns the uh, result to the variable called result on the left hand side click on ok uh, we'll just output the value of the function using sorry, just outputting the value of the variable result here Let's run the function and see the output. Uh, click on the play button. The absolute function, uh, if the number is positive, returns the value as it is. And if it is a negative number, it returns the minus of, uh, min minus of the number. So the absolute function will always return a positive value. Let's uh, run a sample test case. Uh, yeah so the result is 5.6 let's run uh, flowchart with a negative number let's say minus of 2.5 you can see that the output of the function will be positive you can notice that uh, the absolute uh, function always returns uh, a positive value irrespective of the input variable x. Uh, when you invoke a function, you need to pass uh, the name. Uh, you need to provide the name of the function and pass the function parameters. Uh, if the function has more than one, you need to uh, pass all the uh, list of parameters as a comma separated. So when you invoke a function, it will execute the code or the function logic and returns a value to the caller. And that value will be stored in your flowchart variable that you provide in the left hand side. Coming back to this example, uh, ABS is the function name or the uh, function name of the built in function. And we have provided the parameter x to the function so uh, the function executes itself uh, and returns a value uh, uh, that value will be stored in the flowchart variable called result uh, in this example okay hope you understood about uh, built-in function 
uh, ABS is just one uh, built-in function in Flogorithm. There are several other intrinsic functions available. We'll explore them in uh, upcoming videos. If you like this uh, video, uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.